Hello everyone, it's me once again. So this is just in, uh, by the way, I think I found out from Verge website, um, but there, there are rumors that Apple's gonna soon release a cheaper version, almost a half price version of iPhone 11. So there's a question about whether it's gonna be called Apple SE2 or SE, sorry, I, Apple 11C or Apple 11 SC, who knows? But the point is, is about the price. So the price is rumored to be uh, three $399, almost the half price of the cheapest iPhone 11, not Pro, but iPhone 11, which technically, as I said many times, that it should be called iPhone 11C or SE, which is what we should be called on iPhone 11. Um, but um, the point being is this, if you read carefully, what chip has been gonna be applied to this iPhone uh, SE2, let's call it, um, is gonna be the same as what's been used for iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro, which is the A13 chip. This is a bit of a shock because um, if you look at the example uh, of Google Pixel 3 and 3a, uh, the, the, um, the chip was pretty much, the process was uh, much weaker in some way. So Google Pixel 3 was using Snapdragon 845, uh, while as um, Google Pixel 3a was using Snapdragon 670. So in other words, the processor was uh, much lower. That's why the Google could almost, you know, halve the price of 3a. Other than that, the camera spec was pretty much the same. But um, those are the main thing. If you look at the computer, for example, I'm not an expert on IT, by the way, but someone told me if I want to get a good computer, you either get an i5 or an i7. Now the difference between, I think the i7 is one of the most advanced set processor, but the differences with, even though the same design, for example, Microsoft Surface is about $200 or up to $500 or even $1,000. Um, and, and it's humongous. While as, now let's go back to Apple. They're using the same processor. I know it's still a rumor, but let's assume that's what's gonna be the case. And this is gonna be, if, if you're a owner of iPhone 11 or a 11 Pro especially, amount of money you paid, Apple is basically exposing themselves how cheaply they can make Apple 11 or Apple 11 Pro especially. And we don't know what the camera spec is going to be, whether they're going to have two or three lenses. I assume it's going to be two lenses maximum. maximum. But um, when it comes to processor, you don't put the same processor and they're just exposing themselves of their mistake if the rumor is true. And I can sense a lot of iPhone 11 or 11 Pro users are going to be pretty upset that they've been ripped off by Apple. And this is what I've been saying for probably a few years now that you should walk away from Apple because the point when you feel like they're jacking up the price, taking advantage of you, especially when I made my previous video saying that Apple 11 should be technically called Apple S 11 SC, not the official 11, you should be pretty, pretty much annoyed. And um, <laughs> It, it's pretty much a joke, um, I have to say, if the rumor turns out to be true. If not, I would like to apologize in advance. But anyway, overall, the sign is that um, I know there's rumor about Apple uh, releasing their AR, so VR or whatever these um, uh, glasses. We shall see how well that turns out. But I think there was also rumor that they decided to cancel it. But overall, I do sense that Apple is struggling in some way. Um, I know when I search on website, they're, 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 especially on Google, uh, they're saying that Apple's doing very well with sales, but I, I don't think so. I, I'm hearing more and more people are saying that Apple 11 is pretty much the same as uh, 10s. And um, I think a lot of people will agree. Anyway, I um, hope you like my input on this. I. <laughs> I'm sorry, Apple 11 uh, or at Pro users, it's it's pretty much an insult to you. So I hope this will be a case where you realize ah, Apple is taking a mic in many cases. Um, those who think they could get away by um, using their brand to jack up price should 
face the consequence. That's all, all I want to say. Anyway, um, well, that's enough said. But just so you know, tomorrow is an exciting day. It's the 15th, which we all long waited for the Made by Google event. So hopefully we shall see. Mainly what I'm excited about is the um, the Google Pixel Watch that has been rumored for a few years now. I really hope it's going to be released. A lot of people are saying it has been cancelled. Some people say it's going to be released. You got this mixture of like chaotic articles available online at the moment, but we shall see. But nonetheless, other stuff. Let's say if there's going to be any Google Pixel, like Google um, AR glasses, um, that would be quite nice. But we shall see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, regards to Apple. <sighs> Think about it man, uh, it's time to move on I would say, especially when you put the same chip with half price product, it's an insult. Thank you very much, this is LJP Tech, all the best, bye bye.